Urban Sentinel here with some short commentary regarding the Aurora, Colorado shootings. In the wake of the Aurora murders, the anti-gun lobby is of course using this tragedy to rally support for stricter gun control. Now I've been following this story since it broke and the mass media is doing its part to whip the public into a frenzy that this event happened because of easy access to firearms. Many of the media outlets are focusing on how the shooter got his weapons and ammunition legally and how the proliferation of guns is a scourge upon our nation. With respect to crime, the gun control proponents see firearms as part of the problem whereas we in the gun community see an armed citizenry as part of the solution. It is unlikely that those on either camp will change their minds. And we all want a peaceful society, we just disagree upon the means. The founders of the United States imposed a system of checks and balances on government to prevent the undue concentration of power. One of the fundamental tenets of the American democracy is that government exists only by the consent of the governed. That is, the people have a right and a duty to rebel and overthrow a tyrannical government that no longer represents their interests. Our founders were smart enough to know that it was not good enough to simply bestow the right to rebel unto the people. The citizenry had to have reasonable means to exercise that right. Hence, the Second Amendment was enacted as the ultimate check against an overreaching government. The anti-gun lobby and the mass media completely ignores this fundamental aspect of our system of government. Generally, they treat the Second Amendment as too vague or too quaint and outdated to be given force of law in modern times. The anti-gun lobby assumes that our republic will necessarily endure without this check against tyranny envisioned by our founders. I submit that we cannot take liberty for granted and that it must be jealously protected at all times. The anti-gun zealots are willing to trade liberty for security. In this case, imagined security. President Thomas Jefferson noted that, quote, those who desire to give up freedom in order to gain security will not have, nor do they deserve, either one. I by no means assert that the victims of the Aurora shootings were somehow just an acceptable loss or to in any way minimize the momentous horror of this event. But ignoring the constitutional principles upon which this nation was founded is not the appropriate reaction. Unfortunately, Aurora will result in much more frenzied rhetoric than meaningful public discourse on firearms and public safety. As citizens, we in the gun community should make sure that the fundamental constitutional issues do not get overlooked in what little meaningful debate will ensue. People on all sides of the gun debate all want a peaceful, civilized society. We just happen to disagree on the best policy towards achieving that goal. However, taking our freedoms for granted and ignoring our Constitution is the surest way of us losing our cherished Republic. Supreme Court Justice Louis D. Brandeis summarized it beautifully when he said, quote, Experience should teach us to be most on our guard to protect liberty when the government's purposes are beneficent. Men born to freedom are naturally alert to repel invasion of their liberty by evil-minded rulers. The greatest dangers to liberty lurk in insidious encroachment by men of zeal, well-meaning but without understanding. I hope you all participate in the public discourse with those who would take our Second Amendment rights away. My thoughts and prayers are with the victims of the Colorado murders. This is the Suburban Sentinel. Shoot safely, everybody.